Okay, let's go into the advertising tab. When we're looking at campaigns, the first thing we want to do is jump into the keywords tab because that's where we can make the biggest difference the fastest. Let's pull down one of the pre-configured views. I usually start with the no sale keywords first and we don't have any, which is good. So what we're looking at is any keywords where we spent more than $10 and did not get any sales within the date range specified in the preset view, a two week period starting three days ago. So let's look at the last 60 days to get a broader view. Here we have several keywords where we spent in excess of $10 and we have absolutely zero sales. So we want to take a look at how many clicks we've had on each. If you only have two or three clicks and you don't have any sales, that doesn't really mean so much. But if you've had 15 clicks or more and there's no sales, that means that the chance of getting a sale here is down in the 5 to 6% range. So we're unlikely to get enough sales from this to make it actually worthwhile. So let's put in greater than 10 and then that'll narrow it down further. These are the campaigns where for the last 60 days we've spent some money. As you can see here, we spent 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, close to $100. And we haven't gotten a single sale out of this and we're unlikely to get sales on them because they have more than 13 clicks and no sales. So these ones, I would just turn my bid way down. So the bid right now is ranging from 55 cents to about $1.61. I'd probably turn the bid on these way down. I don't like turning them off completely because I want the campaigns to have longevity but I would turn it down to where I'm spending very little money on these. I would take these down to about five cents and we can do all of them at the same time by using the select all button and then changing the bid to five cents and then we can click on the set button and they all get changed to five cents and that's done. We just eliminated a lot of future spent dollars. This is $100 we've just taken off of our loss on PPC. We just eliminated that. So that's the first place I like to go. So let's go back to views again. And now we're going to view the biggest loss. And what happens here is now we're calculating loss based on what the tacos value are set at. So here you can see these are all set at 35%. What the system does is if you go and you look at the tacos gain loss column, that's the third last column from the end. You can see there what the loss is. So it basically calculates based on the revenue and the profit margin for that product. This is how much money we lost. And you can see the top one, we've had 10,000 impressions and 58 clicks. We spent $80 and we made $159 in sales, but we're actually losing money because the ACOS is somewhat higher than the 35% target. So we lost $46, but $46 is not a big loss for 14 days. So you can make a quick determination on whether this is worth changing or not. You may just say, you know, I'm okay having a $46 loss, which in this case I am, so I would leave that. This loss is basically an investment in getting more clicks and improving the organic ranking for this particular product. So in this case, this has already been optimized before. So what we're looking at here is totally fine. You could double check on a couple of things here on the left side, clicking on this little drop down. And here you can look at 30 days and 60 days and see what that looks like. Over 60 days, we lost $228. Over 30 days, we lost $83. And the last two weeks, we lost $46. So it's kind of a steady loss. We're losing less in the last 30 days than we did in the prior 30 days before that. We lost $83 in the last 30 days. So we've lost about $130 or so in the prior month. So it's less now. And then we can look at how we change the bid history and we can see it's reduced fairly regularly. So we're down to $1.86 and only have a $46 loss. So at this point, I'm okay with that loss because really what I'm doing is boosting the organic rank of the product and I'm getting organic sales that are not counted here. And those obviously have a profit. So I'm going to just leave this alone and we're going to go now to another view, which is the biggest gain. And this is going to show you the campaigns where we're making the most money. And you can see here, we don't really have anything where we are actually making any significant money. So that means we're pretty much middle of the road on all these keywords. They're close to break even. We don't have any big losses and we don't have any big gains. We're spending pretty much all the profit we're making from advertising on buying more advertising. And that's the way I like it for this product because that is helping increase our organic ranking, which gives us organic sales, which gives us profit. 
So very rapidly here, we saved about $100 by just looking at the keywords that haven't made us any sales. We verified that everything else is pretty much middle of the road where we want it to be. And depending on if I wanted to be very aggressive, I'd come back in about four days to see what keywords need adjustments. Or I could be a bit less aggressive and give it a whole week or two to then see and adjust things. <laughs> 